。Hello, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs>、uh, you're so different today. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I didn't recognize your voice. Everything okay with you guys? Yes, yes we're、Master. fine. We're happy. Happy? Yes. Oh, nice to hear. <laughs> I was still thinking. Oh, what else more can I do for you guys? You still have all the cakes, or you have enough? Yes, it's enough. Yes, We are、Master. full all the time. <laughs> ah, very good. good. Yes. If you're not full, then you can't work. You know, we have this system on this planet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to put something in before you can put something out. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. you happy, eh? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes really? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, wonderful! And so, so good to hear. Because I was always thinking,、oh, is there anything else I can do for them, for you guys? Because you. Came into a new environment and you start working and working hard and. Master、uh, already does a lot for us already. Ah <laughs>、uh, okay, okay. It's not a lot. It's just comfort, comfort, and sometimes uh, like uh, comfort the mind. Yeah. Yes. So it、uh, doesn't complain. Yeah. <laughs> the heart may be okay, but the mind complains. You know. Okay. Okay. Me too. I didn't contact anybody <laughs> except you guys. <laughs> you are my relatives and family. I have no family except those who follow the same ideal, same direction. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They are my family. Yes. Yeah. I don't have anyone else truly. I don't call anybody except、uh, before when my sister, you know, passed away. Yes. I really miss her sometimes. Yeah.、Mm. Because she was not well, and they didn't let her come to see me before she died. Oh, long before that, and nobody said anything to me about all that was happening. Too busy, and,、so. and I feel sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, everything okay. I don't really have time to think too much. Actually, sometimes I'm thinking of her when something reminds me on TV or some other work. That's all. Otherwise, I don't really have time to miss anybody. I can't even miss myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything new? Yeah, yeah we have、uh, some question.、Mm. Want to ask? Have a master comment? Okay, okay. Is that your question or from the team? Uh, from the team.、Oh. Our team have、uh, some question. Okay, okay. For, Never mind. It doesn't matter. You ask then. In Afghanistan, where several people have been killed in a bomb blast outside a well-known mosque, the explosion happened as mourners gathered at the Eidgar Mosque complex for the funeral of a senior Taliban official's mother. On October 3, a roadside bomb was detonated outside the entrance of a mosque in Kabul, and,、oh. and at least five civilians lost their lives and others were wounded. Who who did it? The no one has、uh, claimed. Responsibility for the bombing, so we still don't know. They don't know who did it. Yeah, yeah.、Oh, okay, no one came forward. No one admitted that they did it. Yeah. Oh, coward! Ah,、uh, why did they have to kill civilians? Ah,、huh? they have suffered enough already. Afghanistan suffered too much already, and then recently just too many changes and too many things they have to deal with, and too scared already to even go out of their house. Yes. And now somebody has to even sneak up on them like that. You know, innocent people. I、yes. think they are cowards. They must be one of those so-called terrorist groups. They are not Muslim. I told you already. They are not Muslim. Yes, they are. They are, they are just, not. They are just murderers. They just ambitious or stuff. And if it is a Muslim, even then, they are just misunderstand. You know. Yeah, they didn't follow the Islam teaching. No, not at all, because the prophet. Muhammad, peace be upon him, has always advised for peace. Yes. That's why they greet each other always like、uh, "Assalamu alaikum," mean peace be upon you. Yes. They say that every day, every minute,、uh, every time, like they're breathing, but they don't do it. I mean, what do the Afghanistan people, these civilians, innocent bystanders, have anything to do with anybody? Right. Right. They don't even know whom they kill. So、just innocent people, defenseless. This is terrible because many of the so-called terrorist groups they also abuse the Islamic teaching because Islam means peace. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And they use、uh, the Quran or the Hadith. Hadith are recorded stories of the disciples with the Prophet. Yes. When the Prophet Muhammad was still alive, peace be upon him forever.、Uh, he was teaching them this and that, or answer some of their questions. And the Quran, they just abuse it. 
you know, like in the Hadith, some people ask the Prophet, what can they do to earn more merit, to go to heaven and all that? And the Prophet's answer is, one of the acts they should do is a jihad, a spiritual jihad. Yes. Means fighting for the spiritual understanding. But that doesn't mean go out and fight with other people or, or kill people at random like that, innocent people. Why they misunderstanding that so far from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Why, huh? Yes. Because jihad means spiritual fight, okay? Fight for the spiritual aspect. But that doesn't mean go bombing people, I told you. Right? They are just using Islam for their own agenda, for their own, I don't know, stupid or vicious ambition. They just want to make noise. They just want to kill people because they don't have anything better to do. Jihad, spiritual fight, doesn't mean go killing people. You know, just like when I told you some time ago or many times, I said, I'm still here alive fighting for you. And that doesn't mean I go out and, and fight with anybody. Understand. I'm just like fighting with heaven, trying to reduce the sentence for the humans on this planet so they don't give them such a severe sentence. And sometimes I make a joke with you. I say, oh, this is my spiritual weapon. You know, like my shoes, my clothes, stuff like that. Yeah? Yes. Just to wear to have a good appearance in the public. And also advertise for my clothes. Yes, Master. So that I can earn some money, so that we can do what we're doing. Right. And also can help some people who are in need. And help the animals, organizations, help the charities for the homeless, and whomever we can help. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Instead of asking for money from others, I'm making my own money so I can share instead. Yes, yes. Because I don't know if I am really anything... Worthy that I have to just sit there asking people to come and make offerings to me. Understand. Everybody, they work very hard in their lives already to take care of their family. And I'm happy that their families don't have problems. Uh, so I don't want to burden anyone. So I have the sometimes high heels and say, this is a spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and if you don't see the video, you think I'm talking about like knives or guns or whatever. Never. We don't have anything like that. For sure. It was <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, it was just a joke, but I told my attendants, "Be careful with all my spiritual weapons." <laughs> this is one of them. Huh? So now you know, okay? I don't fight with sword or guns. I fight with my spiritual weapon. <laughs> and they're cute, huh? Yeah. Harmless, mm, lovely. Mm. And anybody who comes to our ashram cannot carry weapons. Right. Well, except the authorities. We cannot do anything, maybe. Yeah. But anyone who wants to come visit for any reason, or is guarding somebody like last time they needed it. They requested the bodyguard. Yes, yes. And I said, never mind, but you have to leave the weapons outside. You cannot bring it into my ashram. Or the whole thing is called off. That was last time with some of the North Korean people. They requested protection. That's the government's law in South Korea. So we have to comply with that. But then all the weapons have to be left outside the gate. And our people have to put them in a box or something, and when they come out, they get them. I don't want that. Understand. If I can. So when I say spiritual weapons, it doesn't mean any killing device. Yes, yes, for sure. So when I say, we are still here, we have to go and fight. That fight doesn't mean go uh, <laughs> brawling with anybody. You know all that. Definitely. Hope they, they can understand. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They've been brain was too long seen generations already. Uh, you know, one blind leads another blind and they both fall down. Yes, exactly. Mm, because they did not understand what the Prophet was teaching. And they even inserted one or two sentences in there in the name of the Prophet. Say, the Prophet say this, the Prophet say that. And you have to kill them and all that. No, never, okay? All the masters, all the Prophets, they take the precepts of non-violence, those shall not kill. 
Okay, there's a number one in there. Tenet. Understand. And then many others like you don't steal, you don't lie, you don't make false witness against innocent people, for example, like that, yeah? Yes, Master. So all the prophets know that. All the masters know that. So the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would have never uttered anything that incites violence against other people. And the infidels are those who maybe betray Muslims or just come in and then come out and maybe talk bad about, about them. But that doesn't mean that they have to kill them. Right. In our group, we also have, sometimes we have spies, sometimes we have people who just come in for fun or just curiosity and come out and do some betrayal, you know, act yes. or talk just because of misunderstanding or because of insincerity. Came in just for some mundane reason, just to try yeah. and come out and talk nonsense or harm us in some way, but we're not going out and killing them and calling them infidel or anything. True. They are betrayers, that's for sure, but we never make any war with them. They made war with us, but we have never done anything against it. Maximum is that I tell them, don't come back again until you understand my teaching. You better go home first and reflect upon what you say and what you did. That's not peaceful. It's not helpful to our organization because we need to do many works. We cannot keep dealing with your harmful activities against us. So you please just go home. That's that. So these people, they don't come back. That's all. Because we need peace to work, to meditate. We cannot always have people who come in just making trouble or making noise. And yes. It's just the same like in any school. If a student is making trouble and doesn't repent, doesn't cooperate with the teachers and the classmates and always makes trouble in the class, then the teacher cannot teach. Yeah, they need to learn more. Right. And also the students need to study in peace. Yes. So those students that don't comply with the rule in the school and don't respect the teacher and don't cooperate with the classmates, then they have to stay home or go elsewhere. You see what I'm saying? Yes, master. That's normal. That's normal. That's all. But I would never advise you to go out, beat them up, or, you know, <laughs> or kill them for jihad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be a big misunderstanding. If anybody, after I die, insert some nonsense like that inside, that's interpreting my teaching wrong. Yes. It's just a pity that many so-called Muslims don't understand that. Or maybe they just want to use it for their own ambitious end. Vision. But that's violent. That's killing other people who are innocent. That's against any religion, not just talking about Islam. Because thou shalt not kill. You cannot kill anything, anybody, because it's all God's creation. Yes, Master. <laughs>